Several of IFM's sensors are configurable with setup software, such as the O2D and O2V sensors designed for error-proofing applications, the O3D image sensor that evaluates size, shape, and level, the O2I sensor that detects 2D data matrix codes or 1D barcodes, and the Octavus VSE series that detects the changing conditions of machinery. Before the software can communicate with the sensor, however, there is a very important step that you must complete first, and that is to set up a static IP address on your computer. This step, in addition to the programming patch cable, allows your computer or laptop to communicate directly to the sensor's microprocessor. It's easy. I'll walk you through it. First, from the Start button, click on Control Panel and find Network and Sharing. You should see that there's an unidentified network. If your computer does not see an unidentified network, turn off your computer's wireless connection. Sometimes the wireless connection interferes with the computer's direct communication with the sensor. When the computer identifies the sensor, you'll see a link that says Local Area Connection. Click on this. Next, select the Properties button. Scroll down the list and find Internet Protocol V4. Select the Properties button. Most users will see Obtain IP Address automatically as the selected option. Change the selection to Use the following IP address and enter 192.168.000.111 so that you can connect to all the IFM sensors. This will put the computer on the sensor's default network. Leave the subnet mask at 255.255.255.0 and click OK to exit. You can now close all the windows. If you get a prompt to restart Windows 7, you can select No. That completes the one-time assigning of a static IP address in Windows for your IFM sensor, and now you're ready to proceed to the next step, launching your sensor's software. For more information or to download software for your IFM sensors, visit our website at www.ifm.com us download.